Wow, 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 wow. I am just watching Tyler Hendricks' principal lectures. I've heard that they're going to dub them into German. And I knew these were great, but I hadn't actually watched them. And I don't know if these are the same ones as were available years ago or if they've been redone, because I've just, I just really want to share what I've just heard on the second lecture, which is about creation, where he discusses the, the internal character and external form. When I was in school, in, in high school, I studied physics and our teacher gave us a query about light and the concept of photons. And in the 1960s, I guess maybe a lot of that stuff had not really been taught as clearly as we know it today. And one of the questions that my physics teacher gave us was, why do we hear things better at night? And he couldn't give us an answer. He just asked us to think a little bit more about it, about the quality of light and what's the difference when there is no light and what effect does it have on sound? I can't tell you the answer to that, but I love how Dr. Tyler Hendricks has explained the levels. He's talked about duality in the earlier part. Okay, where are we now? 425. In the earlier part, he, he talks here about human beings having a mind and a body and an internal character and external form. So here he talks about mind and body. He doesn't talk man and woman. He talks about the internal character and external form. And then he continues discussing okay now yeah he's talking about mind and body internal character and external form and then he talks about animals who, that have an instinct and a body which is also internal character and external form and then he talks about plants which have internal characteristics and the external form then he talks about the molecules and he talks about the positive negative aspects. Now, everything else was internal and external. Now, here he's talking about, I'll, I'll play that because I, I need to rehear this again myself because isn't he mixing up the two aspects? In the principle, we hear about the internal and external and the positive negative. And what I understand of the molecule, the cation and an anion, it's not one is internal and one is external. So perhaps we'll go all the way back to this part. Okay, we'll start here and we'll play, right? Internal character and the body is the essential external form. Even in animals, there are mental and physical parts, internal characteristics, which we call instinct, that gives purpose to the individual animal. And even plants, in plants, there's a plant mind. That's the internal characteristic. And that leads the body of the plant to carry out the organic functions, which we see externally. Furthermore, positive ions and negative ions combine. And no matter what element they form, it is because these two ions have some internal characteristic something that gives them a purpose to form that particle. And even the forming of an atom with an electron revolving around the proton is because of an internal characteristic that gives purpose for the forming of that atom. According to modern science, the elementary particles that make up atoms consist of pure energy that has the nature of both wave and particle. The particles reflect the essential form and the waves can be seen as internal nature, internal characteristics. But even energy cannot automatically create matter. There has to be purpose and will, internal values that were there before 
there was any matter. To form a particle, even the energy has internal characteristics of purpose and design. Going one step further back, even the energy behind the internal characteristics and the essential form, we cannot help but pursue an existence, a positive cause for all forms of beings. This existence is the first cause. It animates all ex Okay, so I'm going to stop the sharing here now. I did want to address the fact that he's talking about towards the end he's talking about positive negative when when he talks about um mankind he talks about internal and external and i think he's mixing two things there in a way that is not very substantial but if this gets you to think a little bit more about what this whole lecture series is about i am really inspired about the content and I'm interested in teaching it myself so that I'm actually watching it so that I can figure out a little bit more how to really get into the content because I studied this 40 years ago and taught it that long ago as well and have not been teaching it lately and it's time for me to polish up my expressions and to get to the latest levels of, of communication about it so that's it for me now thanks